I mean, we've got a solar eclipse. Uh, we've she got ran the earthquake. Down the hallway. She ran down the hallway. The and rapture then, is here. The rapture's here. And then also, I learned that the cicadas are coming. Cicadas. Cicadas. Although I love for the, the first time in cicada. like no, 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 hundred no, years. No, 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 no. Two That's, different. No, two, no, well, they, this is what I read. There's two, two different there's times. Two are, different kinds of cicadas. Yes, two different coming. times. Times are coming. The good cicadas but, and the bad. But no. for the first time <laughs> in in many many years. No. Seven, so, every seventeen years this happens. Well, that's not what I read, but maybe but, you know, <coughs> maybe well, you know better. I, but in I a will way, say all those all those things together would maybe lead one to believe that you know either climate change exists that's more or something point. is really or going on. Is returning. Earthquakes are not at the mercy of climate change. It's underground. No. It can't. I don't it, think it, that's it happens. And the, 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 kind of the eclipse. They've known about the eclipse coming because eclipses happen. Okay, so. You know, I'm constantly saying that the left is beyond parody, but uh, this truly is beyond parody. Like, how do you even, how do you make fun of this? Matt Walsh is on an absolute tear right now, just absolutely destroying all of the woke mob and triggering all of them at the same time with the release of his new movie. And then also just going off on rants like this one where he absolutely shreds Sonny Hostin, Whoopi Goldberg, and The View for making absolute fools out of themselves and spreading straight disinformation on their platform on The View. Let's get into this clip here where Matt Walsh absolutely destroys all of the woke hosts of The View, including Whoopi Goldberg, Sonny Hostin, Joy Behar, all of those woke idiots. Let's get into it. At this point, I'm not even sure if these celestial bodies even exist. Is there a Jupiter? Is there a sun? I, you know, I don't know. Because every time I try to look, it's cloudy. And it's not fair to me. Um, it's not fair to all marginalized communities. So this, is, this is a conversation about inclusivity that we need to have. You've heard of DEI. Well, this is a, this is a DE sky is what, is what I'm talking about. And if that sounds incredibly stupid and insane, you should know that it's... It, Actually, not as stupid or insane as what was said unironically um, on The View yesterday. Let's watch this. We've got a solar eclipse. Uh, we've she got the earthquake. Down the she ran down the hallway. <laughs> the rapture is here. The rapture is here. And then also I learned that the cicadas are coming. Cicadas. Cicadas. Oh, for the, the first time in cicadas, like cicada. no, no, a hundred no, years. No, 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 no. Two different, no, two, no, well, they, this is what I read. There's two, two, different, there's times two are, different kinds of cicadas. Yes, two different times, times are coming. The good cicadas but, and the bad cicadas. But no. for the first time <laughs> in, in many, many years. No, and Seven, so, every 17 years this happens. Well, that's not what I read, but maybe... <laughs> You know, maybe well, you know better. I, but in I will a way, say all those all those things together would maybe lead one to believe that you know either climate change exists that's more or something point. is really or going is on. returning. Earthquakes are not at the mercy of climate change. It's underground. No. It can't. I don't it, think it, that's it happens. I and the, and the, the eclipse. They've known about the eclipse coming because eclipses happen. Okay, so. You know, I'm constantly saying that the left is beyond parody, but uh, this truly is beyond parody. Like, how do you even, how do you make fun of this? I don't, how do you satirize this? You know, what's funny about this. The, the funniest part is that the reason why all of that was brought up is because they were trying to make fun of people. Honestly, they're like, just being straight up honest, they're making fun of Christians for saying, oh, the rapture is coming, the rapture is coming. And obviously... You know, the, the, they're also making fun of the people who think every single event that happens around the world is the end of the world. But we all know that this they, they say it with with venom in their in their speech. Right. They're making fun of Christians because they hate Christians. They hate white people. They hate all of those people. No doubt about it. I know for a fact that they're making fun of Christians. Um, so it's funny how they're when trying to make fun of Christians, they make themselves out to look like absolute idiots, like complete idiots. They don't know anything that they're talking about. They're, they're absolutely clueless. It's, it, it epitomizes the view absolutely perfectly when you have Whoopi Goldberg saying something and then Joy Behar chimes in with something that's even stupider and then somebody else tries to correct her. Sonny Hostin's coming back with a correction that's even more wrong than what Joy Behar just said. It absolutely epitomizes the view and I don't understand how anyone can watch that show and think, oh yeah, I'm getting good information out of this. I'm going to continue to watch this show. It blows my mind. She just listed three things that have absolutely nothing to do with the climate and lumped them in as signs of climate change. So the, the orbit of the moon is now a result of climate change. Like, the problem is that there isn't a more absurd claim that you could make to compare to this as a joke, right? Like, like I can't say, well, uh, that's like 
claiming that climate change on Earth causes the black hole at the center of our galaxy. Like it, it, it's what she just said is not any more absurd. If you enjoy content like this, then make sure you leave a like and subscribe to the channel. It really does help me out a ton. Let's get back to the video. Other than that, that that's the most absurd thing you can say on this topic has now been said. You know, I've been extremely clear and outspoken in my stance that abortion is undoubtedly evil and should be illegal in all circumstances. I'm also aware of the, in but in effect, she's just killed all climate change jokes. We can't joke about this anymore. They're all dead now. She has killed them. Because now we have a prominent leftist on the record, on TV, saying that climate change causes an eclipse. There's nowhere else to take it now. We can't take this anywhere else. That, that That's it. It's There's no the Babylon Bee. You can't. You can. You can take it further. Actually, Matt Walsh, I think he's a little wrong here because they could have said something. And I know this seems absolutely ridiculous. And you think that no human would ever say this because of how stupid it is. But when you think about what was just said, what Matt Walsh is breaking down here on The View, and what they just said, that climate change is causing a solar eclipse and causing cicadas or cicadas, it's pretty sure it's cicadas, to come up out of the ground in random places. Climate change is causing all these things. Well, then ne next it's going to be gun control is causing all these things, or the lack of gun control is causing all these things, you know? But in reality, it probably is stuff like, related to transgenderism and stuff like that that could be called it, it's much more likely that that could be causing all this stuff if you actually think about it because this seems to be some kind of spiritual warfare that's happening right i don't want to get too crazy here but you know a lot of people like alex jones tucker carlson have always said like this alien stuff it's more like it's actually like a spiritual warfare rather than actual beings from other planets so it's much more likely that the transgenderism stuff and the, the abortion stuff is actually causing all this stuff to happen and the, the world to fall apart because it's it's like a, it's like as it's a representation of how we're falling apart as a society spiritually we're losing our spirituality we're advocating for more freedom to kill babies we're advocating for more transgender generals in the military you know, I think that's much more likely of an of a explanation. I'm not saying that is the explanation. I'm saying that sounds a whole lot less ridiculous, at least to me. Let me know in the comments if I'm being more ridiculous. Seems a lot more less ridiculous than the woke idiots on The View and saying that climate change is the cause of the moon and the sun's orbit to line up. Absolutely ridiculous, man. And what, what are you going to... All climate change jokes are done. It's a tragedy in a certain way. It really is. Because I enjoy making fun of climate alarmists. I enjoy it as much as the next person, probably a lot more. Uh, I really like making fun of them. It's a lot of fun. Uh, it's, it's, it's important to me to be able to make fun of environmentalists and climate alarmists. And she's killed that. It's a little, you know what it is? A little piece of my heart has now been ripped out of me and destroyed because of this. I'm, I'm honestly upset about it. Every time the left t t takes it one step, they, they, they keep going and then they eventually they cross that line where it's like, I, all right. Can't satirize it anymore. I have an actual serious question to ask you watching this video. I'm talking to you, okay? Please tell me, how can you try and justify how anyone can be a leftist in the modern day unless they're completely brainwashed, unless since birth they've been fed leftist propaganda? Like, how does anyone who was born into a not extremely leftist family, household, how do they turn into a leftist? Like, how do you use logical thinking to come to the conclusion that you should be a leftist because not even just stuff as insane as what the view said and, and Whoopi goldberg and joy behar and these idiots said in this in this clip here from matt walsh but if you just think about the actual logic of even their core stances like oh if we want to stop killing in america we should just ban guns it's like okay well let's let's think about this logically for a second has that ever worked before hmm, let's see if we want to stop cocaine consumption and selling and distribution across the United States, we should just ban cocaine, right? How does that, how did that work out? It didn't work out too well. It's still going around and it's illegal. So if you ban guns, all it's going to do, and, and everybody knows this, everybody with a functioning brain knows this, if you ban guns, it's just going to take the guns out of the law abiding citizens' hands and put them into the criminals' hands, which gives them the upper hand. But I mean, I don't understand how many times they have to be explained to that logically there's still new leftists being created every single day, somehow. Please explain to me how that's possible. How is it possible that people can watch The View religiously? These old, miserable women can watch The View re religiously and hear them say stuff like climate change is causing solar eclipses 
and they think, oh yeah, I love this show. This is my favorite show. I'm going to continue to watch. How is this possible? Uh, please, somebody explain to me in the comments. Anyway, let me know in the comments what you think about what Matt Walsh had to say about these woke idiots on The View saying that climate change is responsible for cicadas coming out of the ground and a solar eclipse and all this other stuff happening. Let me know in the comments what you think about this whole Matt Walsh versus Sonny Hostin, Whoopi Goldberg, and The View situation.